Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will let you know, Chelsea here is joining me in the intro today because she's just been around my feet this whole time and she just wants to get in on the action, don't you? Mm-hmm. I swear she's a poodle. She doesn't look like one, but I swear she is a poodle. <laughs> So today's video is a collaboration with the gorgeous Jules from Cinnamon Jewels here on YouTube. She is a makeup, fashion, hair, beauty blogger, vlogger, and she's amazing at what she does. So please go and check out her channel down below in the description bar. Today's video is a summer inspired makeup look and also an outfit to go with it. So if you'd like to learn how to achieve this really simple, achievable, glowy summer look with an outfit that I've chosen. Please stick around. Don't forget to go check out Cinnamon Jules' channel as well with her summer look. I'm sure you will love her. So stick around and enjoy and I will see you at the end of the video. Bye. <laughs> P.S. I would just really like to mention this amazing Aussie company that I love supporting. It's the Loving Tan from Australia. This is the 2 Hour Express Deluxe Bronzing Mousse Tan in the shade Medium. I'm wearing it right now and I applied it with my Loving Tan Mitt. This makes the application so simple, so amazing. So you guys have to get on this tan. It's not smelly. It doesn't smell and it's also really smooth. I have no lines and it's not orange guys. It's a brown. It's a really nice brown. So go and get your hands on the Loving Tan Mousse. The links are in the description bar. I would really love you guys to support an Aussie brand, especially if you're Aussie. So go and check out these guys. Okay guys, so I'm going to start off with a primer. This is the Inglot Underbase. You only need a pea size, so a really tiny, tiny amount. I'm using my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80, and I'm just applying that to my entire face. Makeup Forever HD Foundation. This color is N153. Put that on your palette, grab your foundation brush, and just apply that to your entire face making sure you're blending down the neck as well okay so now I'm taking my Inglot AMC cream concealer in shade 67 the concealer brush this is my large concealer brush from designer makeup tools and I'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes here and I'm going to blend that out with my damp beauty blender. Just taking my Maybelline concealer and this one is in the shade 20 Sand Sable under the eye area up on the sort of cheekbone a tiny bit on the chin the forehead and down down the middle of the nose and a tiny bit on the cupid's bow. This is really basic highlighting. By doing this technique, you're going to give your face a beautiful glow that looks quite natural. I'm trying to go for a quite fresh, dewy look today because that's kind of what summer makeup reminds me of, fresh and dewy. I'm taking my MAC Soft Ochre so this one here, I use this one all the time. It's such a great color for an eye base. And then you can either blend that in with your fingertips. I've got um, long nails and they get in the way, so I prefer to use a beauty blender. So I'm just going to blend that in. I did mention I want this look to be quite dewy and fresh, so I'm not going to over powder. I'm just going to powder just enough so that the makeup doesn't move too much throughout the day. Ben Nye Banana Powder. It's a loose powder. It does have a yellow tinge to it, but it doesn't have much color really once it's on the face. Real Techniques uh, Setting Brush. And we're just going to set those highlighted areas to keep them nice and bright but you don't want to over powder because we still want it to be quite dewy and fresh looking. 
Next I'm going to powder the rest of my face. I'm just taking my Inglot AMC Pressed Powder in shade 51. It would help if I showed you the product. Oh, uh, this is my empty one. Anyway. <laughs> Next we're going to take some bronzer. I'm using my MAC Matte Bronzer. This one here I'm also going to use as a contour powder as well. So it's going to give me a little bit of shape and dimension in my face but also a nice beautiful bronzed glow. I'm going to be using two different colors for this today. So first the MAC Matte Bronze and also my Makeup Forever Sculpting Kit Furless brush number double P F2 also take the color down the sides of your nose just to create a little bit of definition there don't go too crazy just a little bit my makeup forever sculpting kit the darker powder I have completely ruined the lid of this case because I do this and then I wipe it off on there. I don't know why because usually I have a towel or something like underneath my products but I've ruined it. Don't do that guys. That's a bad habit. <laughs> so it's a little bit more defined. I have some new blushes I've been trying out. They are from oasap.com. Excuse the mess I've left them in. But these are the colors here. There are 10 blush colors. They're so bright. The camera does not do it justice. There's so many amazing fluorescent colors. You've got ones that are a bit metallic and shimmery, and then you've got some that are just completely matte. I think I'll take a combination of this peachy color here. It's like an orangey peach. And I'll put a little bit of that pink in there as well. So this is my MAC Soft and Gentle Highlight and I'm going to apply a small amount to the tops of my cheekbones. To the cupid's bow, tiny bit on the nose, a little bit on the forehead and the chin. Large powder brush again and I'm just going to do a little bit of a swirl around just to blend all of those products together so they look nice and seamless and not too heavy. This is great to do always when you're doing your makeup, just to blend everything. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the eyes now. I already have my eye base on, so I'm ready to put some shadow on. I'm taking my palette from oasap.com. This one here has 28 colors. They're all matte, except for one, two, three shimmery ones. So I'm going to take as a highlight just this cream color here for the brow bone, Furless ME5 flat eyeshadow brush I'm going to take a crease color and I'm going to take this beautiful soft brown it's this one here and it's a warm brown I'm taking that color on a fluffy brush this is my Inglot 6 S blending brush and applying that into the crease area and this is going to create a nice natural socket we're going to take a really soft pink this one here Okay, so we're going to move on to eyeliner. I'm going to use my Inglot AMC Gel Liner in number 77 and my Inglot 31T Angled Eyeliner Brush. So just a thin wing liner. I'm just using the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. So I'm just going to apply that to my top lashes. 
I'm actually not going to apply it to my bottom lashes today because I want my eyes to look quite wide and I feel like for myself not applying black to the bottom lashes creates a larger eye for my eyes so if you feel like bottom lashes for you creates a bigger eye go ahead and put bottom mascara on I don't particularly want to do that today trying to keep your mouth closed while doing mascara is really difficult. I just want to go like this. <laughs> now I'm going to take my NYX white waterproof crayon and I'm going to apply that into the waterline of my eye. This is going to create a larger, brighter, fresh sort of eye. The lipstick I'm going to use today and the lip liner that I'm going to use today are both from MAC. So my MAC Trusted Trust in Red Pro Longwear Lip Pencil. And this is my MAC Retro Matte All Fired Up Lipstick. It's one of my new ones. Also, I will mention, you can do whatever color you like with this look. It is so versatile, but really, you could do a really deep red and make it wintry, or you could do a plum and make it really autumn. So it's completely up to you. So this is the color I've chosen today, but you go ahead and do whatever you like. So okay, so that's the end of the makeup look. I'm gonna show you the outfit that I've put together from oasap.com. I will leave their link down below in the description bar, as I said earlier. So I hope you enjoy the outfit that I've put together. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget, go and check out Cinnamon Jewels. The link is down below in the description bar and subscribe to her channel. Please like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. But yeah, so I'll show you. Really? Really. Did you hear that? For more videos, click these links and subscribe.